you know, quantum, Pat, I, I, I feel like sometimes you got to be a physicist, a PhD, a researcher um, to really talk quantum. But I think what you and I try to do for the world is make it make sense, right? So this week, um, you know, we saw major investments from um, uh, Microsoft with Quantum, Majorana. Is that how you say it? Majorana? Um, it's a new uh, kind of topological core architecture, um, and they call it a topo conductor. So it's not a superconductor. It's not an ion trapping. It's not an atom splitting. This is a topo conductor, which they're calling a novel type of material that can basically control major on a particle. I'm reading this, I'm being honest, this stuff is super technical to produce more reliable and scalable qubits. What most people don't understand is like, to really get to high value quantum, there's numbers thrown out there. You know, you need to get to like a million logical qubits. I've heard 100,000, I've heard 10,000, but it's a lot more qubits than we've been able to stably create with any of these different technologies. In a lot of cases you're hearing about you know, the, the, conti the continuums at 32 or 64. We've heard IBM talk about numbers, you know, getting up into the thousands now. But like getting to a million qubits so that we can actually start to use quantum with classical to solve some of these really complicated problems seems to be the goal. So you hear about things like Willow and it's going to break encryption and Bitcoin's going to get broken. And then you see things like this. And what I did come away from this, Pat, is really coming to the conclusion that I do think the big tech companies will be the winners here. I know we've got all these little kind of meme stocks, the Rigettis and, and D waves and Ion Qs that are all sort of, uh, and Ion Q has been the most interesting. They've won a lot of business and contracts from government, certainly has been able to pull away from kind of the other uh, the meme quantum names, the beverage companies. But I think what we're seeing is that the big tech companies see this as the next frontier. Uh, Satya called it the transistor moment. Uh, him and Elon had a little back and forth. Um, I don't know how true that is. You know, my sort of quantum experts in the background gave me some advice that there's a lot of claims here that require proof that the scientific community is kind of kicking around what whether this is or isn't what it is. Um, but the bottom line is smaller, faster, uh, more greater coherence to, to, to reach more logical qubits. He talked about the ability to get a million qubits on a chip that could fit in the palm of one's hand. That is breakthrough. And so I'll leave this thought here, Pat. Um, on the same day, Apple announced a tuned-down iPhone with a with a tuned-down modem that's not part of the SOC for six hundred dollars that offers features. And meanwhile, Quant, uh, Microsoft delivered a million qubits on a chip potentially. So I'll take that every single day. I'm not sure it'll get there, but Pat, this was a really big breakthrough moment, certainly in the research community. Yeah, I want to give a caveat here. I have a quantum analyst named Paul Smith Goodson that is about a thousand times smarter than me. Uh, but and, and it is very hard to even put a comparison to, to what other companies are doing. But this is this is a breakthrough uh, and in every sense uh, of the word as we have a, uh, a brand new, new architecture. It's a topological uh, core. So that in itself, and you know, what gives this credibility? Uh, DARPA uh, chose uh, Microsoft as one of uh, two uh, companies. I think uh, CyQuantum might have been, uh, uh, been, been the other one. And, um, um, what what this award was was essentially, hey, who has the biggest uh, risk return trade off, right? And uh, the goal with DARPA was to have something scaled, uh, utility scale quantum computers by 20, uh, 2033. That just gives you a sense of where DARPA uh, was and Microsoft and and Psy Quantum. Right, I call it like throwing the long ball. Like if you want to go big and you want to go big in 2033, these are the two companies that, uh, that, that you would go with. There are companies who are ahead of Microsoft, uh, namely uh, IBM and even IonQ and even uh, Quantinium on a nearer term uh, type of, of, of deliverable uh, here. But again, I don't want any of that to take uh, away from all that Microsoft uh, uh, did, but at least, you know, Paul is telling me that Microsoft is behind in terms of years 
uh, but it can make up ground and pass the other technologies if Majorana is as reliable as it is expected uh, to uh, uh, to be. But again, this is still in the in the area of research. We are not to productization uh, at this at this moment, and I think we need to keep all winner take all um, exuberation of anything with a with a grain of salt because there's a lot more work to do, a lot more research to do. And, you know, just when we thought that, okay, we could, um, you know, we can, can put everybody into a nice uh, mold, whether it's trapped ion, superconducting, and I'm sure there's others, we've got this topological um, Majorana, I don't know if I'm saying it right, Majorana uh, out there that um, uh, surprises all of us.